It's absolutely marvelous, being able to stretch my legs without invading another's personal space once more. Rangers, manners are what separates man from bedraggled beast? Why, the very implication of such a question. Let us both seek wisdom in the book of nauseatingly correct manners. Chapter 16, Pernicious Pleasantries, line 33. It is of the utmost importance that manners come from deep within your being. For if those pleasantries are ever false, your very soul will be consumed by your depraved rudeness to your fellow man. So you see, Rangers, manners are critically important in everything you do. I hope dearly that I have answered your question. Let us never speak of this again. Felicitations. I would say your reputation has improved dramatically. I haven't heard an impolite word about Team November in quite some time. Quite some time. Of course, Rangers. It would be impolite not to share such tremendous deals. signal in your area. Hold one moment as I narrow it down. Here we go. If anyone can hear me, the elves are in danger. We need help. Santa has been... He's a tyrant! Negative, Team November. I did not copy. I definitely did not hear an elf cry out for help from the tyranny of Santa Claus. Just kidding, Team November. Sending you the coordinates of the signal. Hopefully it's not as bad as it sounds. Over.
This is your patriarch speaking. The caller. Rangers, it's you. Welcome. Zero Pricely at your service. Maybe you're wondering why the scion of an eminent Broadmoor family is traveling the way selling things out of a trailer. Why? To prove myself, of course. I don't need daddy's money. I'll make my own. But first, a gift for the heroes of Colorado. You've done so much for the hundred families, and I doubt those ingrates even thanked you. So, allow me. Here. So kind of you to say so. Breeding does matter, I always say. Most of the ancestral bunkers are used as crypts these days, where the families bury their most esteemed members. Take your time. Zero Pricely's products are priced to please. Team November, out of Arizona, broadcasting on all Desert Ranger channels. Does anyone read me? Okay, listen up. I don't have much time here. My, my guard's in the can. Hank Buchanan, the Patriarch's crazy-ass son, is holding me and my team captive. He's making me listen to radio frequencies for trouble. He doesn't know I've been watching Ranger frequencies, too. You need to come get us, but be careful. It's... it's bad up here. Worse than you can imagine. Vic and his people are insane. Remember that. Understand that. They butchered people or burned them alive and laughed about it. And I'm not exaggerating when I call his people insane. Breathers, he calls them. Constantly breathing crazy gases from their tanks. They're crazy and dangerous. And nearly everyone up here will kill you on sight. So take it slow and keep an eye out for supplies you can use. Good to hear that. We begin by on hope for a long time. My guard's coming back. See you soon, Rangers. Woodson out. On your guard. Strange folks ahead. Thanks for the assist, Hoss. out.
looking for trouble. You found it. Uh, right, guys?
Thank you kindly. Please don't let him find me. I thought I was gonna have to make a run for it or eat my own fingers or something. Name's Opie. I've been hiding in there since Vic and his crazies rolled through, eating the food saved up for my trip home, listening to the screams, hearing uh, weird sounds, wondering where they'd, you know, find me and kill me. Like, like, like breathing, slow and steady with clicks and whistles in it. I uh, caught a glimpse of some skinny, long cloud thing. It's good to hear that. I ain't never been no fighter, buddy. Not like you bunch. What are you, mercs? You what? Wow! I mean, I heard of you, of course, but I thought the lot of you were out in Arizona. Anyway, glad you're here, buddies. I'd be dead otherwise. Anyhow, I'll be here while you take care of these punks. If you, you know... Got any questions or goods to trade, let me know. I'm a trader. Like I said, out of Colorado Springs. I drive back and forth sometimes, selling supplies. Good stuff, by the way. Real good stuff. I also carry messages and mail up for anyone stuck on 82 duty.
I guess that's over now. Vic and his pals have pretty much killed everyone. No one's going to be using this place for rest and relaxation for a good long time. Well, you know, how the road up here is called 82, that's part of it. But it comes from an old saying. If you say he was 86, that means he was driven out 80 miles and buried six feet under. So, 82 duty, it's like that. You ain't dead, see? You just wish you were, and you're still in the middle of nowhere. That was before, anyway. Everyone who got sent up here on 82 duty is probably 86, good and proper. No more complaints, no more card games, no more packages for the family at home. Of the hundred families use it, used it for vacations, hiding away from the crowd and such. The patriarch, he'd also use it for summits and such like. Though I tell you what, he ain't been coming up lately. The bridge outside leads to the gondola. Should be a control computer for it somewhere inside. Anyway, the gondola can take you up to the summit, where you'll find the old ski lodge. Vic's probably holed up in there. Uh, not much. Not much at all. I got here just before the fight. Vic laughing and killing alongside his pals. Some weird-looking ones in strange suits with hoses and such. Oh, sure, buddy. Yeah, here you go.
Hey, buddy. Welcome back. You here to talk or trade? Oh, sure, buddy. Yeah, here you go.
all look so tough. Stay focused. Rangers, this is Corporal Woodson. What's going on down there? I'm hearing a lot of foot traffic up here. Sounds like they're sending a squad of breathers down the gondola. It sounds like you made it past their initial defenses. But I suspect they're setting up an ambush further ahead. You'll have to fight your way to the gondola. The old ski lift that can take you to the summit. Yes, actually. I picked up some chatter that might help. Word is there's some breathers trying to retrieve a weapons cache from a bunker. Seems they tripped some kind of hundred family defenses. I don't know where the bunker is exactly, but it should be across the bridge. 
If you can take out those breathers and get those weapons, I'm sure they will come in real handy once you get up to the gondola. Good luck, Rangers. We're counting on you. Looking for the way out, Rangers? Well, well, well. Like I tell all my guests, if you've got what it takes, you can leave anytime you want. Just follow the signs. Disgusting. Does he think these are trophies? you have to ask yourself is, you have a burning Federico calling. Come in. Silence. Prepare the guns. Now let's see if you can cut it in a high-stress environment. Tricked you! <laughs> it's like one of those trust-building exercises, only, you know, in reverse. Now it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Rangers, can you compete? I know, I know, they're not dogs. I couldn't get dogs, okay? Bear with me. 